Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com. And in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a communications manager interview. So if you are applying to become a communications manager with any organization, make sure you watch this presentation from start to finish because I will help you be the standout candidate at your interview. Now to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover during this tutorial. So I will give you a list of communications manager interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I will give you some really important tips for answering each of the interview questions before then giving you brilliant, unique, top scoring answers to all of the questions. And then finally, I will tell you where you can download all of the answers and further resources to help you pass your communications manager interview. And just very quickly, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because then I can help you not just pass every job interview you ever attend, but I can also help you progress throughout your career and get the pay you deserve. And please give the video a like. Thank you very much for your support. By liking the video, it tells me you find these tutorials useful and it also motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. And the first question I want you to prepare for is, tell me about yourself. So I strongly recommend you practice your answer to this first communications manager interview question before you attend your interview. Because if you practice and rehearse your answer, it sets you up with confidence for the rest of the interview. And it also helps to create a positive first impression with the interviewer. So here's a brilliant example answer to help you pass your interview. Tell me about yourself, here we go. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed for this communications manager position today. I would describe myself as a results-driven, commercially focused and innovative communications manager who has the experience needed to come into your organization and make an immediate impact. Now, my diverse set of skills and qualities have been built up by working in various roles where the need to collaborate closely with other departments was essential. As a communications manager, I can easily manage multiple projects. My writing and influencing skills are excellent and my academic qualifications are all geared to this role. Now, if you hire me as your communications manager, you will be getting someone who has a track record of achievement, someone who takes their professional development seriously, and someone who can guarantee you will see a positive return on your investment. That's a brilliant answer to that first communications manager interview question, tell me about yourself. And you can see how this is going to set you up with confidence for the rest of your interview. Now, you can either pause the video if you want to and take a note of the questions and answers as we work through them together. Or if you want to wait, I will soon tell you where you can download my full set of 23 communications manager interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. Here is the next question for you. Why do you want to be a communications manager? Now, before your interview, I strongly recommend writing down a list of three things you like about being a communications manager. Now, if your motivations for becoming a communications manager are genuine and passionate, you are far more likely to get hired. So here's another great example answer to help you. Why do you want to be a communications manager? Here we go. I want to be a communications manager because I am good with people. I can use words to influence others whether it's by email marketing, social media, or face-to-face, -face, and it is a job that my academic qualifications and training are aligned with. I also want to be a communications manager because there are so many opportunities to be creative, which I enjoy, and I will have the freedom to try out different things to achieve your company's strategic objectives. Now, working in communications is non-linear, which means you have to adapt and change your message continually to meet your employer's needs. I also like the fact that as a communications manager, I will have to analyze campaigns and continually test and tweak my messages to get the best return on investment. Now, being a communications manager is a job I very much enjoy and I'm ready to rise to the challenge. That's another really cracking answer that's going to put you ahead of the competition 
at your communications manager interview. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, you can click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Head through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can then download my full set of 23 communications manager interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. But here is the next question for you. What are the most important skills and qualities needed to be a communications manager? Now, the only way you can answer this question correctly is to make sure you study the job description before attending your communications manager job interview. Here's another great example answer to help you. What are the most important skills and qualities needed to be a communications manager? Here we go. As a communications manager, I need a diverse set of skills and qualities that are all centred on helping your organisation achieve and maintain success. I must be a strong communicator and presenter, an excellent copywriter, editor and proofreader, and be able to communicate in a style that my audience understands and can easily engage with. Now, organisational and planning capabilities are also at the top of the list to be a competent communications manager. My responsibilities will be far-reaching and it will be my duty to ensure everything is completed on time and to the expected standard. Project management and time management are other essential skills, as is the need to use creative marketing techniques and have a thorough understanding of current and future trends within digital and social media. Finally, a proactive approach to problem solving, self-motivation, drive, a passion for my work and the ability to build mutually beneficial relationships will be key to my success as your communications manager. That's another brilliant answer. A great answer to that common communications manager interview question. Here is the next one that I strongly recommend you prepare for. Why do you want to work for us? Now, this question is going to come up during your communications manager interview. Make sure you demonstrate in your response you have researched their organization and that you have genuine reasons for wanting to work there. Here's another brilliant example answer to help you. Why do you want to work for us? I want to work for your company because you are very passionate about what you do, you understand there is a need for outstanding communications, and you want to be a market leader. Now, during my research, I was impressed with your company mission, the strong values you have, and how you are prepared to take calculated risks to grow. I want to work for a company that will support me in my duties as a communications manager and who will actively listen to my ideas and suggestions and also back me to deliver on my objectives. Another great answer. Here's a tricky one. How would you manage project expectations when there are multiple stakeholders involved? This is a really difficult one. Now, project management skills are very much needed as you know, to be a competent communications manager. Now, this question is assessing your management skills when other people have a vested interest in the project you are working on. So here's my example answer to help you. How would you manage project expectations when there are multiple stakeholders involved? Here we go. Whenever there are multiple stakeholders involved in a project, it is important to determine everyone's goals and objectives from the start. If everyone involved in the project feels they are being listened to and their needs are going to be met, you will succeed. Communication is vital every step of the way and you must demonstrate exceptional interpersonal skills and be an outstanding organiser and leader, which in turn will inspire confidence in the project and help you to maintain authority as the leader. You must also ensure you have a clear project roadmap with set objectives that are aligned with strict timescales and also work hard to sell your project vision to everyone who's involved. So that shows that you have the authority to work on projects and also make sure that everyone's expectations are met. Here's the next question. Tell us about a time when you challenged a senior management team's decision. Wow, this is another really tricky communications manager interview question, but it does come up often. Now, this communications manager interview question is assessing your communication skills and the levels of confidence you possess. Can you articulate your argument in a professional and persuasive manner to achieve your objective? Well, here's a brilliant example answer to help you. Tell us about a time when you challenged a senior management team's decision. Here we go. 
In a previous role, the senior management team only wanted to spend a minimal amount on a new product launch advertising campaign. Now, I felt this was a missed opportunity because based on my research, it was clear there was significant demand for the product amongst 20 to 27 year olds. Now, the only way we would be able to target this age group would be on various social media platforms. However, the cost to target this group would be greater than the defined budget. So I put together a short but powerful presentation that outlined the evidence I'd gathered, the estimated costs of the advertising campaign and the anticipated return on investment. Now, because I was methodical in the delivery of my presentation and I gave the senior management team confidence in my beliefs, they increased the budget significantly and the project launch yielded an outstanding return. That's a great answer that shows you have confidence to be able to challenge professionally decisions that are made by a senior management team. And what I like about that response is you really are putting the financial needs of the business first. You want the business to be successful and you put together a great presentation that is packed full of evidence. So it's a great answer. Here's the next question. What's your management style? Now, this is a difficult communications manager interview question to answer. There are many different styles of management, but I recommend giving a mixture of styles that suit the situation you are in as a communications manager. So here's my example answer to help you. What's your management style? My management style is a combination of authoritative, persuasive and transformational. Now, I need to be authoritative at times as a communications manager because I will always have targets I need to achieve within set timeframes and these are not up for negotiation. I often use a persuasive style of management to sell my vision and my ideas, which are always aimed at helping my employer grow and maintain its position as a market leader. Finally, my transformational style of management is based on the need for constant change. If a company is to enjoy continued success, it must adapt to the ever-changing needs of its customers, clients and consumers. That's a great answer. I love the fact that you are giving three management styles there, not just one. So that shows that you are a adaptable communications manager. Here's the next question. Why should we hire you? as a communications manager. Now, this interview question needs to be answered in a way that makes you stand out from the competition. Remember, they will ask this same question, why should we hire you, to all the other candidates. Now, if you have a proven track record of achievement in previous roles, make sure you mention this in your response. So here's my example answer. Why should we hire you as a communications manager? Here we go. You should hire me as your communications manager for three reasons. The first reason is my knowledge, skill set and experience are all aligned with this industry. That means you will get a communications manager with a proven track record of achievement, someone who is very passionate about their work and someone who will deliver on time. The second reason you should hire me is because I am a very analytical communications manager, which means I test campaigns, I use innovative tools to identify trends and I provide data and evidence to prove the return on investment. Finally, you should hire me because I am seeking long-term employment with your company. I will be here to grow as your company grows and I intend to become a trustworthy, high-achieving and forward-thinking communications manager. That's a great answer that's going to help you stand out at your interview. So the next thing to do is make sure you click that link right now in the top right-hand corner of the video. Head through to my website, passmyinterview.com and you can download my full set of 23 communications manager interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we have worked through together today. It's a fantastic resource. You can literally have it in your inbox within two minutes from now. And it's going to put you ahead of the competition at your forthcoming communications manager interview. Make sure you check it out. I've also put on that page four really important additional tips that I recommend you read because they will help you pass your interview. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's really important. Literally thousands of you are passing your interviews and I can only help you if you are subscribed. And when you subscribe, you are the first person to find out whenever I upload new content that will help you progress throughout your career. I can help you get promoted and I can also, more importantly, help you to negotiate the right salary at your interview. Don't forget to give the video a like. That always motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. I genuinely appreciate it. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. 
And it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your communications manager interview. Have a great day.